welcome back to my channel if you are new here make sure you subscribe if you are coming back welcome back to my channel <laughs> today i'm going to be revamping this wig it's a short pixie cut and i'm going to be dyeing it a sandy copper color the dye that i'm using is by clairol the products that i'm going to be using today are this 40 volume developer the shimmering light shampoo powdered bleach and a mixing bowl so what i learned is that i only should have used half of the powdered bleach because the hair is so short that I didn't need to use all of the bleach that I used. Um, but I just went with it. I just wasted it, but it's whatever. Um, for the developer, I think I might have used a capful. Um, but the consistency that I was looking for is the consistency of Cool Whip. I wanted it to be thick and airy and light. If the mixture is too runny, then it's going to seep through the hair and it's going to... Um, like almost bleached the whole entire wig, which I didn't want. So I kind of wanted something thick so that way it sits where I put it and it doesn't move and it doesn't budge, if you get what I'm saying. Now this step is optional since I am dyeing the hair a copper color, it kind of defeats the purpose. But to my defense, I want the hair to be more of like an ashy copper color. I don't want it to be too, too copper. And I am using shampoo. If you are thinking about doing this, I would say to use the Shimmering Lights conditioner. I just didn't have the conditioner, but I felt like this way works as well. I'm ready to eat up track like I'm seated in a restaurant. Yeah. If you had swag like mine, you know. I'm splitting the hair up into little tiny sections and I'm painting the bleach on to the ends so I can get that ombre effect. And I'm painting it on almost as if I'm doing biolage, which I kind of think that this is borderline biolage. I've never done biolage before, but I think this might be it. <laughs> By the way, I am not a professional. I'm just doing this for fun. So don't be coming for me. Oh, <laughs> And this is what it's looking like. I ended up doing some in the back and like just random different places just so that it can all come together. And as you can see, it's starting to lift. It's starting to get that nice color and we're about ready to wash it out. I'm gonna be using this neutralizing shampoo to stop the bleaching process. No, there ain't no stopping us. Fly without boarding pass. Couldn't catch me, I'll be moving fast. Call me a shooting star. Let me know you. I'm also going to be taking that shimmering light shampoo again and just giving a quick rinse with that. This is going to take out any brassy tones and any kind of orangey tones that we don't want. Since I want this to be ashy, um, it's going to help to make it more ashy. So I blow dry the hair and everything like that. And this is what it's looking like now. Um, it looks nice. It looks fine. But I kind of wanted it to be more blonde at the end. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking some more of that mixture. And I'm going to focus that on the tips of the hair. So that way I get that nice gradient effect. <laughs> So this right here is what I was going for. Perfect color, perfect everything. This is what I wanted. So as you can see, it goes from dark to light to lightest. And that's what I wanted. And when I split the hair, you can see you have like the ombre effect going on there. I just love it. So now I'm going to dye the hair with the Clairol Sandy Copper color. And this is the 
final look. I hope you all enjoyed this video of me revamping this wig and turning it into something new. Be sure to check out my other videos and stick around for my newest videos. And I'll see you all in my next video. I love ya. Bye.